Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. Today's video is a brief discussion of the genealogy of Police Lieutenant General Guillermo Lorenzo Eleazar, the newest Chief of Police of the Philippines. Police General Eleazar belongs to the Philippine Military Academy Hiniran Class of 1987. He was the Chief Superintendent of the Quezon City Police District and under him, the QCPD garnered high trust ratings in police surveys. He later became the Director of the National Capital Region Police Office and then much later was appointed as the Chief of the Directorial Staff of the Philippine National Police. Aside from his exemplary career, General Guillermo Eleazar also has a very long and prominent genealogy that is quite unique even among high-ranking Filipino officials. General Eleazar's line is an offshoot of a very old, very illustrious Tagalog family, the Ordovesas of Mahaihai Laguna. The Ordovesas of Mahaihai Laguna are one of the most unique families in the Philippines, having the very rare ability to trace and document their family tree up to 12 generations. The earliest ancestors of the family Don Francisco, Don Gabriel, and Don Diego, all elected gobernadorcillo, carried the surname Manzana, which means apple. But aside from a very long genealogy, the Ordovezas also are known and unique in their continued possession of an ancestral house, a house that has been in the family for more than two and a half centuries. It was the fourth generation patriarch, Don Lorenzo Pangotangan, who changed the family name from Manzana to Pangotangan, most probably in reference to the family's money lending business and who built this ancestral house. The family crest was the letter P written in Baybayan script which stood for the family name Pangotangan, encased in a heart or perhaps an apple shape in reference to their earlier surname of Manzana, which seemed to send the subliminal message that the Pangotangans were moneylenders with a heart. Don Lorenzo married Doña Juana Pascuala, and their son, Don Bernardo, became the next patriarch in the family. The house eventually passed on to Lorenzo's young child, Bernardo. Don Bernardo, who served as a soldier for the Cuarta Compañía de Militias, was later elected gobernadorcillo at least two times. He was also quite known for his vocal protests against the abuses of both Spanish civilian and ecclesiastical authorities. His complaints reached the highest levels of government in Manila, a clear sign that he was brave enough to denounce injustices. He married Doña Ambrosia de la Concepcion and they had at least three children. The next patriarch in the family was Don Antonio Miguel Ordoveza. 
He was the one who expanded the family's business interests by buying huge tracts of land all over Laguna, as well as setting up a productive coconut wine distillery. Because of his distillery, not only was he able to provide jobs to the poorest residents of the province, his generosity also reduced banditry within and around the province of Laguna, making him a very well-known and very well-loved person. Don Antonio married Doña Maria de la Paz de la Merced and they had at least two children, Don Juan and Valentina. Don Juan Ordoveza was an expatriate who was a lawyer. It was during his time that the Claveria Decree was enacted, which directed all Filipinos living in the archipelago to adopt a formal family name. Since his father Antonio was still alive at this time, it was most likely that it was Antonio who was the one who chose the surname Ordoveza. Thus, they became the Pangotangan Ordoveza clan. Until much later, the surname Pangotangan was completely dropped and they became solely the Ordoveza clan. Don Juan married Doña Maria de la Paz de Villaseñor, a member of one of the most prominent Chinese mestizo families in the province. Teresa Ordoveza, one of the daughters of Don Juan, married into a prominent family from Tayabas, which is now Quezon Province, Don Victor Ramon Eliezer. The Eliezers of Tayabas were well known in their philanthropy and were able to build many public buildings in town. Teresa and Victor had several children, one of whom was Guillermo Eliezer, who would later become one of the first Filipinos to be educated in the United States. He was later appointed a judge and was well known throughout for his generosity, honesty, and integrity. Judge Guillermo Eleazar married Maria Olag de Mayo and one of their children, Victor Eleazar, married Victoria. Tolentino. Victor and Victoria are the parents of newly appointed PNP Chief Lieutenant General Guillermo Lorenzo Eleazar. His appointment as the new Chief of Police has been welcomed by many sectors in the Philippines. DILG Secretary Año describes him as very qualified for the job and that he is expected to lead the PNP to greater heights, even amidst the pandemic. Malacanang also echoed this sentiment by saying that General Eleazar's track record of professionalism, dedication, and integrity speaks for itself and that the palace is therefore confident that Eleazar will continue the reform initiatives of his predecessors and lead the police organization to greater heights. We expect great things from you, General Eleazar. And that's it for today's episode. We hope you learned something new and enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more videos in the upcoming weeks and you may also visit the Filipino Genealogy channel for more videos on Filipino genealogy. Thank you for watching and please stay safe always. 
goodbye.